Well, it's springtime and time for a new recipe. I wanted to try something with scotch. I haven't done a recipe, a barrel aged cocktail or anything of that sorts with scotch in a while. And I was thinking, how can I twist that up a little bit? So here's what we're going with. I've got a one liter barrel and I cured the barrel not long, about three days, but as you can see, it did give uh, some of the, uh, this is actually a spiced cherry rum, and you can see that some of it has actually soaked into the barrel, into the staves, the wood of the barrel, and like I said, about three days. You can leave it in there longer, up to about a week, and then that's probably about all you're going to really be able to get to soak it in fully. Uh, but you can leave it in there a day or just really whatever you think. Uh, two or three days is probably good. And I got McKay and Scott. It's uh, really not really an expensive. It's probably not the lowest, cheapest scotch, but it's certainly not the most expensive. It is a three-year scotch, so it's very young. It's not anything that's been aged a long time. So that'll tell you right there, it's not very expensive. And we're going to age, in fact, I just poured it in here. We're going to age some scotch in a barrel that's been cured with spiced cherry rum. Hmm. Well, we'll see how that turns out. But uh, I got to say, it's probably, it's not going to be bad. It's just going to be different. Going to be something I've never tried before. So let me know what you come up with, and I'll post the notes here in about a month after I get a chance to really get some aging going on and mingling of the flavors and let you know what I think. Let me know what you've tried in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Be sure to check out our website too, redheadbarrels.com, where you can find a lot more of our products and recipes.